to learn how to connect a React frontend to a Solidity contract, we're going to be building this. It's very simple. The address of the wallets that have deposited Ether into this contract and the amount of Ether they've deposited. It's simple, but it's going to illustrate how the process works. Let's learn to connect a React frontend to a Solidity contract using the Web3 library. So we can get to the point quickly, I've already created a Truffle project with a simple contract. We have two functions here, one that allows depositing Ether so that we would have data to show in the front end. And the second function returns a tuple with two arrays in it. The first contains addresses and the second contains Ether deposited from those addresses respectively into the contract. But let's not worry about this. Let's focus on the Web3 part with Create React App and removed some of the default code. I installed libraries, Web3 and Bootstrap, seeded the contract with random Ether deposits from 10 different users, and started Truffle Develop. Here we have use effect and use state already imported from React. First, we'll import Web3, a class containing a bunch of Ethereum-related modules. And then we'll import our banking artifact, which contains the ABI, application binary interface, and some other useful information for interacting with our contract. Now let's initialize an instance of Web3 with the port of our local Ethereum contract. This is given when you run Truffle Develop locally. My Truffle Develop is running on localhost port 9545. Normally I'd put this in another file, but I wanted to keep everything as straightforward as possible here. We could also make this more robust with error handling, waiting for the page to load before executing this, etc. But I just wanted to give you the basic tools. Now with this instance of Web3, we can actually connect to our contract. We'll define a method called getContract to use in our code. This uses the Web3 that we initialized above. Web3.eth is the ETH module in Web3 for interacting with an Ethereum network. First, we'll get the ID of the network running locally. This is also given when you start Truffle Develop locally, but we'll fetch it dynamically. Then we'll use that ID to access data in our artifact. Banking.network's network ID is literally a nested JSON inside our banking.json file. We're just selecting a nested object from that. Now create an instance of the eth.contract class, pass it the ABI and the address of our contract. With this, we can now interact directly with the contract from the front end. And inside a wrap function, we'll set up some variables with use state. Web3 to store our initialized instance of Web3. Contract to store our front end representation of our contract and bank accounts to store bank accounts retrieved from the backend. Now let's use Web3 to actually access data from our contract. We'll use a use effect hook, initialize an instance of Web3, initialize an instance of our contract, and passing it Web3. And these are the functions we just defined above. And call the function in our contract that returns bank account data. Let's set these variables. Now let's make these visible. We're using Bootstrap here, so I'm going to be using some Bootstrap classes. I'll just throw this code inside the header because I want to keep that default styling. Now let's loop over those bank accounts that we got from the contract. And remember that the first array in bank accounts is a list of addresses who have deposited Ether into the contract. I'm also going to use the index as we loop over this so that we can access the corresponding amount of Ether deposited for each of those contracts. And we'll drop the address in here. And then we'll add ether deposited using the index as we loop over the first array. 
and let's make sure to add the array to the end of use effect. Before displaying data, let's add a little guard clause to prevent errors from being thrown if data hasn't been loaded from the backend yet. And let's move this up here. And here we have it, our ether deposited by address, pulled from the contract via Web3. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe.